This is a quick video on using the Z-Image model in Krita with the plugin Krita AI Diffusion. The application is running and the plugin Krita AI Diffusion, which is responsible for AI functionality, has an update. I will download and install the update and then it says to restart the application. So I am running this after months and I had to delete this comfy UI, which runs in the background for AI functionalities. The Comfy UI install button is not active. I will have to choose a workload from here, which should make the install button active. The project Comfy UI should work with these core components, but I do not see a way to proceed without having the workload. By selecting a workload, the install button gets activated. I may also get away with the core components if I do not select this box now. But let's not break the setup again. So I selected the smallest workload and ran the installation process. The installation was completed. The stable diffusion 1.5 models were downloaded and placed automatically. In the configuration section, under the style presets, the preset for Z-Image Turbo is present, which came after updating the plugin. Select the preset and it says the checkpoint is missing. The checkpoint and other files required can be downloaded from here. Inside this diffusion model folder, you will see the checkpoint. The file size is around 12 gigabytes. The second file I need is this text encoder, which is around 8 gigabyte in size. Now the file size of this checkpoint and the text encoder can be larger than the memory in your graphic card, but even then, it should work if you have a 32 gigabyte of system RAM. The image generation speed will be slow, but the model should work. However, if you are on a laptop with 16 or 8 gigabytes of memory, with a graphic memory of 4 gigabyte, then I suggest using the GGUF models. GGUF are the alternatives to these two files, which are smaller in size. The VAE here is small in size, so you don't need an alternative for this file. Let's look at alternatives for these two. For the diffusion model, we have these files starting from Q3 till Q8. You have to try a few files from here to find the one which works best on your system. Next, for the text encoder, we can have these files. This FP16, I think is the same as we saw before. You need to look for the files with letter Q in its name. Download and place the file inside the server folder, then Comfy UI, Models, and then in the Diffusion Model folder. The second file, the text encoder, goes into the text encoder folder, which is at the same level with Diffusion Model folder. And the VAE, place it inside the VAE folder. Now the GGUF file, I will take this Q6 as a diffusion model, and the folder location for this will be different. Inside the second comfy UI folder, then models, and then in this unit folder. The GGUF text encoder, I will save inside the same folder as I did for the larger text encoder. Please note, I will not be able to use this GGUF text encoder in this video. I have to make a separate video for that. I will be using the larger text encoder for both the diffusion models. After having all the files in place, I will again select the Z image preset. Click this refresh button. The option to change files in the default preset looks disabled. I have restarted the application and inside the style preset, the files were taken automatically. Now I need to select the Z-Image preset and click the Generate button to see if it works. My GPU usage looks high, but look at the system RAM, the usage is very low. In case you are running a 12 or 8 gigabyte graphics card, then your system RAM will be higher and the image generation may take a few extra seconds to generate, but it should work. Some random image has been generated, which means the model works and there is no error. I took some prompts from the internet and generated this oil painting, which looks good to me. 
The prompt used in the video will be shared. Check the description for that. I tried a vector style person with solid colors. It looks similar to those placeholder images found in web applications. I kept the girl as it is and changed the image to cinematic style. The prompt followed by this model is amazing considering the size of this model. Changing the style to futuristic cyberpunk characters. This 4K anime aesthetic has some issues. The image generated looks similar, so I made a small change in the prompt. This should generate a different variation. And there it is. Removing the word posing brings the same pose again. Getting variations from such models is possible with the same prompt. I just need to make changes in the sampler and the scheduler. Finding the best combination is a task. I will see if some information is available on the internet about this. Let's try the GGUF models. I'm using the default preset right now. I can make a copy of the default preset from here or from this button. I will add a suffix for my understanding. Click this refresh button to refresh the model list, and I have selected the Q6 GGUF model. This should work on a 6GB card with 16GB of system RAM. If someone can confirm and share the generation time, then it may help others. The text encoder and the VAE are picked automatically. That's why I have to make a separate video for GGUF text encoder. I will continue with the default settings and see if it works. I will keep the same subject and change the style to Ghibli style. A Ghibli style painting. Versatile image style with consistent prompt accuracy and faster generation steps. All is packed into this one text to image model. The two types of diffusion models we saw for Z-Image include this BF16 model, which should be used with a 12GB card. This should also work on an 8GB card as well, if the system has around 32GB of memory. But even if it works, the image generation will be slow. The second type are these GGUF models, and the models available here had also worked on a smaller 4GB card using Comfy UI. The size goes till the Q8 model, which can be recommended on a 6 to 8 gigabyte card. There is one more model you need to check, this FP8 model, which is around 6 gigabyte. And there are two variants of this. The variations are recommended for certain old and new graphic cards. But once I checked and I found both working on my 4060 Ti card. So I suggest trying both to find the best. Download the model and save it in the same folder as the BF16 model. Open the configuration in the style preset. I have two presets available for Z image. I will select the default preset and make a copy of it. I am naming it as FP8 for my understanding. Click the refresh button. The file name is not visible, but select it and the FP8 model is selected. This is the sampler and scheduler I told you about for generating different variations. I created three different types to test. The results were okay, but still looking for better. I will leave this at default and click OK. Select the FP8 preset and click Generate. The detail seems to be less in comparison to the Q6 model, but I cannot conclude with a single test. Let me know your thoughts, and if you are able to make it work on a smaller system, then a comment with the system details and generation time would really help others. I will be covering the remaining topics on Krita AI Diffusion. We'll be updating the playlist, and we'll see you in the follow-up video. Have a great day.